So yes, a football video. If it's not for you, feel free to not watch it. But it's a question I often ask. Gerard Skulls or Lampard? So this is my take on that question. Thanks for watching. So, Paul Skulls, English centre attacking midfielder and legend of the game. Steven Gerrard, English centre attacking midfielder, legend of the game. And Frank Lampard, English centre attacking midfielder and legend of the game. And my favourite is Frank Lampard. Well done, Frank. Usually get hit with tons of stats and arguments, blah, 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 blah. But straight off the bat, it's Frank, and I will explain why. There are other rivalries. Messi versus Ronaldo is a classic. I would have to say Messi has a better team around him, but Ronaldo is a better player. And of course, Pele versus Maradona. I would have to go Pele. It's just that bit better. And then there's Kirk versus Picard. Uh, I would have to go Picard, mainly because I like Riker more than Spock, I guess. So, growing up a uh, United fan in the 90s, my favourite players were Ryan Giggs and Eric Cantona. So why don't I prefer Skulls? Well, don't get me wrong, I love Skulls. And look at that team. I mean, look at the, that team. He always had world class around him. And he had Roy Keane doing all the hard defending work. And he had class in front, to the side, width, depth, great strikers. And look at this team. Still amazing, but still completely built around him. Everything flowed through him. And he was free to just dictate play. And of course, Sir Alex Ferguson. Imagine how Lampard and Gerrard would have done with such consistent management. And any component that wasn't working in that United side would be gone. And Paul Scholes benefited from that massively. Now, I always rated Steven Gerrard. And even with world-class players like Torres and Alonso, he was still Liverpool's best player. In fact, I felt sorry for Steven Gerrard because he played with players that had no business being on the same pitch as him, really, let alone the same team. And even in this squad photo, some great players, but some truly average ones. And Steven Gerrard had to deliver time on time to the extent he was often carrying Liverpool. So why Frank Lampard? Well... Right from signing, he was Chelsea's best player, really. He was the best player before the big money arrived. And, as it goes, he was the best player when the big money arrived. And, throughout his tenure there, and you look at any squad photo, he was not only the best player, but the most important, most reliable, most consistent, whoever that was, Counter-attacking, seeing games out, goal scoring, defending, assists, free kicks, penalties. He did it all, week in, week out, irrespective of who the manager was. Now this is something not often talked about with these three, the high press. It's where you put pressure on the opposition defenders and keep possession high up the pitch. To combat this, a lot of centre midfielders have been popped into defence to play out from the back. These include Mascherano for Barcelona. Well, they had a brilliant midfield anyway. Carrick got quite a few more years out, out of him doing that at United. And of course, Barcelona won the 2009 Champions League with Yaya Torre as a centre-back. Now, would you put Skulls as a centre-back? Absolutely not. The guy couldn't tackle. He just couldn't. 
Stephen Gerrard? Well, he was too busy being Stephen Gerrard, basically. Carrying Liverpool, being everything that they needed of him in the middle of the pitch. So, would you do that with Frank Lampard? Absolutely you would. He could play with John Terry and Chelsea could have played out the back quite comfortably. So for me, it's Frank Lampard out of the three. His goal scoring record stands for itself. He scored 211 goals in 648 games for Chelsea. That's a lot. And when you think he is a midfielder that always started off as a midfielder. So well done, Frank.